Hi everyone, this is Andy with Blongo.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to automatically create a project in Soho Projects when a deal is won in Soho CRM. Let's start. Alright, so all the steps that I'm going to follow in this tutorial are in this blog post that I have on my website. So I'm going to leave a link in the description down below. So today we're going to create a function that is going to create a project for us in Soho Projects and also we're going to create a workflow that's going to trigger that function in Soho CRM. So for example, when we move a deal to a certain stage, then it will trigger the workflow that's going to trigger the function. The project and the deal are going to be linked together. So you're going to be able to access to the project from the CRM and to the deal from projects. This video has a few prerequisites. So the first one is that the deal layout has to be ready. And if you don't know how to edit the deal layout, I have a YouTube video that I'm going to leave in the description below. Also, the second thing is that the project layout has to be ready as well. And the fields have to be matching Soho CRM fields. And I also have a video that I'm going to leave in the description. And the third prerequisite is that in Soho projects, you have to have a template already created. And I also have a video for that. The last thing I want to mention before we start is that this workflow is not going to work if the account field on the deal is empty. So at some point before the automation is triggered, you have to assign an account to the deal. You can do this manually if that's how you do it normally, or if you prefer, you can create an automation that will assign a generic account. If you would like to do that, I also have a video in the description below. All right, let's start with the automation now. So in the CRM, we're going to go to the setup page and then we're going to add a new connection here and click add connection. And we're going to use this one, name it. And in scope, we're going to select three scopes. So CRM modules all. Soho Projects Project All and Soho Projects Projects Create. Once we have them selected, we're going to click on Create and Connect. And here we're going to click on Accept. All right, now we're going to go to Functions and we're going to click on Add a New Function. And we're going to complete these fields. Category is going to be an automation. And we're going to click on create. And now we're going to go back to the article and we are going to copy this function right here. And back to the function here and we're going to paste it. And now we're going to edit the arguments. So let's add five fields total. So we have the first one and we're going to add one, two, three, four. We have five total. So the first one is going to be project name, string, description, template ID, portal name, and ID. And for this one, we're going to select this type. Now we're going to click on save. All right, now we're going to test this function. So we're going to click on save and execute. And now we're going to complete these fields. So for project name, we can add any name we want. Same for description. And then on template ID, we're going to copy the template of Soho projects. So I have it open already. And this is my template and I'm going to copy the template ID. Paste it here. Or portal name, in my case it's Blungo, but you can find it right here in the same place. Go back to projects and you have it here before the pound. And then the ID is the deal ID. So I also have a deal open here and I'm going to copy the ID and paste it. And now we're going to click on save. And if everything went fine, you're going to get that panel on the right. And at the end, it's going to say function executed successfully. All right, now let's add some custom fields. So we're going to go back to our blog post. And we're going to copy this function right here. And we're going to paste it right after this. 
And for this tutorial, I'm gonna do two custom fields, but you can add as many as you want here. And now we have to find our Soho project field API and our CRM field API. For the Soho project, I'm gonna use a function. And if you're wondering what I just did, I have a video on this topic already. So check out the video description that is gonna show you how to get the custom fields. So for this one, this is the field I'm looking for. And it is just a link of a Soho Drive folder that I have on the CRM that I also want on Soho Projects. So this is the field ID and I'm gonna copy it and go back to my other function and replace it here. And then go back to the function and I'm gonna scroll. And the field I'm looking for is this one that says contact name. So it's this one. I'm gonna copy it and go back here and replace this one here. And now we have to find the CRM field APIs. So I'm gonna go back here to this function and I'm gonna close it. And I'm gonna go here with this APIs and then API names. I'm gonna open the deals module. In this case, we're gonna do a contact name. So we're gonna copy this API name and paste it right here. So in my case, it's the second field is for the contact name. And now we're gonna find the Zoho Drive folder, which is this one. And I'm gonna copy it and replace the first one right here. So now we have to map these arguments. So we're gonna click on edit arguments and we're gonna add two. The first one is gonna be the Soho Drive folder. And the next one is the contact name. All right, we're gonna save the function and move to the next part, which is creating the workflow. So let's go to automation workflow rules and we're going to create a new one for the deals module and in my case it's going to be in a record action when we edit the stage it's modified to any value and we're going to do stage is signed meaning that when we modify the stage and the stage is modified to sign, then we're gonna trigger this function. So we're gonna select function here, new function from the functions. And then we're gonna select the one that we just created, which is create a project and solve projects. And now we have to map all these fields. So for project name, we're gonna press pound and we're gonna do deals and we're gonna do deal name. For description, same deals, and then we're gonna do description. For template ID, we're gonna go back to our template in some projects and copy the template ID. Portal name, you already know how to find it. ID, it is the DL ID, so we're gonna also map it. Soho Drive, we're also gonna map it. And contact name, we're also gonna map it. And now we're gonna click on Save and Associate. And then we're gonna save the workflow. All right, let's test if this works. So we're gonna go to the deal and we're gonna refresh it. And now we're gonna move it to the next stage, which is signed, which should trigger the workflow and create a project. All right, let's refresh this page again. And as you can see here, we have two Zoho projects. 
The first one is the one that we created when we tested this function. And the second one is the one that was created automatically. And now if we go to Zoho projects and open all the projects and go back to all projects, we can see that we have the test project right here. And then the project that was created automatically when we move that deal to signed and the Zoho drive folder and also the contact name are here. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please leave a thumbs up and let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.